I see you. Hey guys, welcome to another weekend update. No thousand dollar search today. That'll be on Thursday. Just putting up something on the weekend just to show you I'm still here. I decided for this week I was going to show some of the anti-counterfeiting measures on a hundred dollar bill so that you understand if you have a real one or if you have a counterfeit. Uh, the bill is actually loaded with all kinds of neat counterfeit stuff. So let's uh, let's take a peek at some of this stuff here. The first obvious thing right here is this blue strip. That's the first thing that stands out in the bill. And you'll notice, of course, that there is a hologram on that. If you turn it, move it, that hologram will shift from the number 100 to a bell. So that's the first thing on there. Um, the second thing is this metallic ink that they use in the bell. Uh, there's an inkwell, and then there's a Liberty Bell on the inside. You can see it, how it changes colors and changes reflect, reflections. Uh, this 100 is also printed with a metallic green ink that will change color as well. So those are the first few things that you're looking for as far as counterfeits go. Some of the other things that you may not be aware of, you'll notice right here on the bill, there's all these little 100s in yellow. Okay, Now, What's interesting is those are not just random 100s with a yellow mark. Uh, it's real easy for people to think that's what it is, but those actually serve a purpose. Um, there is a pattern to those. I'm trying to get them in there to focus to see if we can get it real good. Actually, I'll go like this with it. There they are. So now you can see some of those 100s. Now, there's a pattern with some of those zeros. And with those zeros, the pattern that they form is an identifier for printers. So if you were to try to photocopy this bill, those zeros form that pattern, the, the printer picks up that pattern, and it refuses to actually print the bill. So that's just another little thing that uh, are on all bills that people don't realize. It's not just on the 100, it's on all of the larger face denominations, and it's hidden inside of those, uh, in, in, in those patterns there. You'll see it, of course, on the 10s, on the 20s, and the 50s. That pattern is on both sides, if I recall. Yeah, you can see some of the stuff here. Just making sure here. Yeah, there's some right over here. You can kind of see them there. Let's see if I put it here. There they are. That's in the upper right, right in this area right here. Now, one of the other things is you're going to find that watermark. If you tilt it just right, you'll see... Um, Benjamin Franklin's watermark face. Now that's important because what some people have done is they will take a $20 bill or a $5 bill and they will bleach it so that the paper is correct, but the watermark will be wrong. The watermark should be identical to Franklin's face, just slightly smaller. Now another thing you're going to be looking for is in the paper itself, you can probably see it more clearly if I put it in here, which are these red and blue fibers. That is part of the paper. That's been in there since the 1860s. That's just the way that they make the paper. Um, the <clears throat> that guarantees that this is authentic paper. On the back, of course, they have the giant 100 to make it easier for people to, uh, to read if they have poor vision. One of the other anti-counterfeiting measures would be uh, a blacklight effect. Now, you can't see it, but right here is a strip embedded in the bill. And if you take a black light and hold it behind there, all of a sudden that strip will come into view. That is, let's see, I can't do it this way, but if I do it this way, you can see the strip right here. It's going to say 100 all the way across. And it actually will illuminate pink, but it's kind of hard to tell that right now being backlit. Let me see if I can't get that to show here. If I go like this. Yeah, it's not going to pick up on camera too well. But it is clear that there is a strip right there. So that was that. Now, one of the other cool things is this, like I said, this strip here. This hologram strip is actually part of the paper. And it's woven into the paper. And what I mean by that, I'm going to put this one down over here. I have another one here. That's what I mean by it's woven into the paper. You can literally take a paper clip and slide it underneath that little section of paper between the paper and that reflective area. 
Most people don't know that you can actually do that. Uh, I wouldn't do that with every $100 bill, but if you've got one that's beat up, yeah, you can, you can do that. Make that happen there. So that was kind of interesting. Now, I see all the fun everybody has with their scopes, and I decided what happens if you put a $100 bill under a scope? Is there anything to find? And sure enough, there is. So, of course, we've got Ben's head. Just tilt this just to make sure we get it all here. There's Ben's eye. Now, if we go down to his chin and to his collar, here's his collar. It says the United States of America on his collar, microprinted on there. Most people never knew that that was written on the collar of a $100 bill. That's called microprinting. It's extremely difficult to do. Now, this bill is filled with microprinting. If we go along the side, this is along the edge of the $100 bill, you can see the numbers 100 all along those edges. I'm trying not to drop the bill on the floor, but yeah, 100 all along there. Every single one of those. Zoom in here so you can see it a little better. And see if I can't get that to focus a little better. 100. So what else is there? Well, if we go along the bottom of the $100 bill, you can see the bottom line isn't the line at all, but it says USA, 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 all across the bottom of this bill. All microprinted on there. All the way across. That's That there just gets us to the middle of the bill, showing how long it says that on there. Most people aren't even aware that that existed on our bills. Then once you get to the other side, you get more of the 100s. There's the 100s again. You can see those right here. And we zoom back out. Because I'm in a little too close. There we go. So those are all the 100s. Now you'll also notice that along the oval of, let me find this here, this oval right here, that's where you're seeing it say $100 USA along the side. And along the feather, this feather right here, if I scoot this over just a little bit, the line on that feather is right there, also says USA 100, USA 100 across there. Just some things on a $100 bill that most people weren't aware of. And I'm trying to remember what was on the back. We'll just take a quick scan of the back of the bill. There we go. Also in the blank spot on the back where the watermark would be, this border is right here saying 100 USA in microprinting. All through that border and on the edge, it's a reverse print saying USA, USA, USA. One of the other things about uh, the, the bills that you should know is the printing process. It's called intaglio. And what that refers to is the fact that the ink is not printed in the paper, but on the paper, which means you can actually run your fingernail across it and feel the texture. So these are all different things that you can do to make sure that you've got a real $100 bill. Just... Take a, take a quick look on this side. Once again, USA, USA, all along the border there. So yeah, it's pretty interesting when you uh, grab a $100 bill and put it under, under a microscope just to see what's there. All right, guys, that's what I got for you this week. I'll be back on Thursday with my $1,000 strap search. I just wanted to give you something to watch this weekend. I'm going to go watch the NASCAR race, and I'll talk to you guys later on in the week.